okay let us go with a simple example a simply supported beam subjected to point load at the center so first we have to write down the reactions so here we have a inch support so you will get a two reactions one is vertical another one is horizontal here we have a roller support we will get only one reaction that is vertical reaction but since there is no horizontal loads we will neglect horizontal reaction so only we will consider vertical reactions so here is the free body diagram of the beam now by using the equilibrium equation let us take sum of the vertical forces is equal to zero therefore va plus vb is equal to w so let us take this as equation number one so now by taking a moment about a is equal to zero take moment about a is equal to zero so sum of the moment about a is equal to zero means so due to forces so now let's take the reaction vb vb perpendicular distance is l so minus vb into l why minus means it will try to rotate in anti-clockwise direction about a point a so for an example if this is the end so if some force is acting here it will try to bend in this direction so so this is anti-clockwise direction so let us take it as minus vb into l similarly here is a point load w which is at a perpendicular distance of l by 2 up to point a so which will try to bend the beam in clockwise direction so w into l by 2 that is positive minus vb into l plus w by 2 into l by 2 is equal to 0 so by solving this equation we will get vb is equal to w by 2 so now substitute vb value in equation number 1 you will get va value now we have to calculate a shear force values before that i will tell you assign conventions of shear force So now if you are measuring a shear force from left side upward forces you have to take it as positive and downward you have to take it as negative. Similarly if you are measuring from right side of the beam you have to take upward as negative and downward as a positive. Remember this sign convention. So better always initially until you will understand the concept clearly you better follow from any one side. I will suggest you to follow from left side. So now shear force at a section xx. Just I have taken a section xx to represent the variation of shear force. So at section xx left side of the section only one force is acting which is trying to push upward that is VA what is the VA value W by 2 as I told if you are measuring from left side you have to take upward force as positive so shear force at X is equal to W by 2 that is positive that represents shear force in between the points it will vary constantly there is no variable so initially shear force at A will be 0 after that shear force at point A VA is pushing upward that is W by 2 kilonewton positive negative I told in the sign conventions between A to C there is no loads so shear force will remain constant that is it will remain W by 2 only when it comes to point C there is a force W which is acting downward downward means you have to take what negative so plus W by 2 minus W will become minus W by 2 that means at point C it will push downward to minus W that is at the value will become minus W by 2 so between C to B there is no forces again the shear force will remain constant up to B that is minus W by 2 when it comes to point B VB is acting upward upward positive that means we should try push for push upward so minus W by 2 plus W by 2 it will become 0 so this is what a shear force values okay now let us go for a bending moment values Going to before going to bending moment values again I will explain the sign convention again same thing if you are measuring from left side you take a clockwise as positive and anti-clockwise as negative similarly if you are measuring from right side you take a clockwise as negative and anti-clockwise as a positive so you may get a doubt how to consider a clockwise or anti-clockwise so better you do one thing if you are measuring from left side you take upward forces as positive 
and downward forces as negative because upward force will create clockwise moment downward force will create anti clockwise moment similarly if you are calculating from the right side you take upward force as negative and downward force as a positive okay this you can adopt a better you adopt from left side right so let us take bending moment value at section xx at section xx bending moment means force into perpendicular distance at a section xx so va is acting upward right then it is positive only so what is the perpendicular distance it is x so va into x what is the va value w by 2 w by 2 into x so here x is a variable so x is variable means it represents bending moment will vary linearly in between the points okay now we have to calculate bending moment at say important point that is at A, B and C. So make sure if the end supports are as simply supported, bending moment is zero. Because if the end supports are simply supported, simply supported will not restrict the rotation. Therefore, there is no what a moment. Okay. So if the end supports are z simply supported, you can directly write bending moment as zero. Okay. So remaining is only you have to calculate at point C. So let us calculate from left side. So VA is there, only one force is there. What is the perpendicular distance? L by 2. So VA into L by 2. It is create clockwise moment, so positive. So W by 2 into L by 2, it will become WL by 4. So we have calculated shear force values as well as bending moment values. Now you have to write a shear force diagram. First you write down a base line representing the points a b c that means important points or salient points okay initially shear force is zero now from zero va is pushing upward by w by 2 kilo newton okay once it pushes w by 2 kilo newton between a to c there is no forces so it will remain same up to point c when it comes to point c we w is pushing downwards so it will come to minus w by 2 so again from c to b there is no forces so it will remain same when it comes to b point vb is there it will push upward so it will become zero okay so above the baseline is positive and below the baseline is negative this is what shear force diagram now when it comes to bending moment diagram similarly you draw a baseline representing all the points a b c okay now what is the bending moment value at a zero at b it is zero okay at c the value is wl by four okay so i told bending moment will vary linearly you just draw a line with very linear variation okay that's all that finishes the bending moment diagram